Hey guys, what's up? It's Jared Cuber, and in this video, we have another unboxing from the cubicle.us. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right, so it looks like we have three puzzles in here. These two look like the new Yushin Huanglong 3x3s. I'm assuming one of them is magnetic and one of them is non-magnetic. And then we have another puzzle in here. So I'm actually gonna go over this one first and then we'll save the Huanglongs for later. So this comes in a really nice cubicle drawstring bag, a little uh, mini cube bag here. So let's go ahead and check it out. Oh man, I'm excited for this one. So as you can tell just by that logo here, this is an Angstrom puzzle. This is the Angstrom Wuchwei M, uh, which I'm really looking forward to checking out. All right, so here it is. This is a stickerless Wuchwei M, which is really nice. I don't actually have a stickerless 4x4, uh, and it's basically my only main right now that's not stickerless. I still use a black Wuchwei. I'm assuming this is going to become my main. Um, I've heard a lot of great things about it. I'm super excited to try out this puzzle, so let's just go ahead and turn it. Pretty slow at first, but uh, that's the same way that all the angstrom cubes were. I'm sure it's going to get faster with breaking in, but it does feel really, really nice. Definitely doesn't feel gummy, and the angstrom lube, once again, has just such a unique feel. Um, I wasn't sure how it was going to act in a 4x4, but this is really great. It's already speeding up. Like, it's pretty much already at a speed cubable point already. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have to break in some of the other layers. I've just been turning that side, but yeah. I think just after a few solves, this is gonna be pretty much ready to go. It's extremely quiet, which is so great. I think that's something that this lube really does well, is making cubes more quiet. Um, this is just... is gonna be such a step up to my Wu Chui, I'm, I'm sure of it. Um, mine is really worn out, actually, right now. I've used it for quite a while, so... Uh, I am very much due for an upgrade, so I think this is going to serve that purpose really, really well. Man, I'm so excited to have this. This is a really expensive puzzle, too. Um, this is about $70, so yeah, if you guys do want a really, really nice 4x4, probably the best on the market, I would say, already, um, this is going to be the way to go. This just has such a unique feel. It's really smooth. Uh, it doesn't feel gummy at all. It feels just ever so slightly sandy. It still has that new cube feel, you know? So it's, I'm sure it'll, it'll change as time goes on, but it does have that classic angstrom feel. It doesn't feel gummy, um, and it doesn't feel uh, draggy, like the pieces are dragging over each other. It just feels smooth. And, um, and just like really easy to move. Uh, you know, the more it speeds up, the more I'm liking it, so. Yeah, look at that. It just handles really, really well. The Wuchwei is already the best 4x4 on the market, in my opinion. Um, and so then just adding the Angstrom lube makes it even better. I'm just really, really excited to solve on this. I can't wait to see what kind of times I can get. Um, yeah, i have been needing a new 4x4 for a competition I've got coming up, and this is perfect. So yeah, that is the Angstrom Wuchwei M. Anyways, let's go ahead and get on to the main puzzles of this video, which are the Yushin Huanglong 3x3s. So this is the newest 3x3 release from Yushin, which I'm really excited to check out. Uh, the Yushin Little Magic is one that's definitely growing on me. Um, I know I've said that I haven't, I didn't like it before, but the Cubicle Labs Little Magic M is like such an amazing cube that I was not expecting to be that good. Um, and I'm, like I said, I will be reviewing it. It. So, uh, but I, I'm excited to also check out the newest 3x3 that they've come out with. Um, I don't know which one is the magnetic one and which one's not, so let's just go ahead and start with this one. Um, this is also a very, very nice box. It's, uh, let's see, it comes with just the cube, some extra hardware, pamphlet, I don't think anything else. Um, so it looks like in this uh, hardware packet we get springs, ball bearings, and washers. So it looks like this cube actually has ball bearings in it, um, which is something I haven't seen in a 3x3 ever and I haven't seen in a puzzle in quite a few years. Anyway, that's everything that's in the box. Let's go ahead and open this up. So something I'm noticing right off the bat is that the stickerless shades are quite a bit brighter than the Yushin Little Magic M, uh, which is something that I'm not a huge fan of, honestly. I, I prefer a darker red, um, and they're also totally glossy, whereas the Yushin Little Magic had a um, matte finish, so it depends on whether or not you like that. It's also a pretty light cube, I don't know how heavy it is, but anyways, let's go ahead and turn it. Oh 
Um, wow, that feels really nice. This is definitely the non-magnetic one. So I'm not sure if there's ball bearings actually in this. I don't hear anything. I don't really feel any clicking or anything. Well, I think what the ball bearings are actually meant to do is just to add a little bit of weight to the corners. I think they go in the corner pieces, um, and it's basically just to make the layer a little bit more heavy, um, which actually results in it feeling a little bit smoother and a little bit faster. Um, that actually happens a lot in puzzle mods, which is something that, it's a feeling that I really like. When you add a bunch of epoxy to a puzzle, the layers actually become, uh, it feels like they become smoother um, and they become nicer to move simply because they're so much heavier. So this is, a, this is the same idea, just on a much smaller scale. You're obviously not adding a huge amount of weight, just a little bit. Um, and it makes it feel a little bit more like the cube is turning from uh, a farther like the the core is extended out a little bit so that the cube the doesn't extend super far down into the core uh, which can often result in a weird locky feeling uh, that I don't really like um, and this also doesn't feel blocky that's not really the point um, it just feels really fluid and smooth so the turning is entirely smooth um, there's no bumps along the um, along the, the turn at all it's like 100% smooth other than that there's really nothing about the feeling that like stands out to me as being super characteristic of specifically this cube um, it feels like a pretty standard just smooth three by three um, but it does feel nice it does do it really really well so yeah it flows really effortlessly this is even the non-magnetic one and I really don't really have any problems with it like I could use this one easily so it doesn't feel like it actually needs magnets which is pretty rare a lot of cubes usually do need it um, let's go ahead and check out the mechanism of this guy so definitely a relatively simple mechanism nothing too crazy it actually does look kind of blocky in in terms of how the piece is shaped so it doesn't have a blocky feeling though which is nice has some nice little grooves along the side and just a very generally pretty basic 3x3 design. And then the corners are the same. Very um, classic 3x3 corner, nothing too crazy going on here. Definitely a little bit of a longer stock than usual, than what we usually see. Um, but once again, pretty standard. And then, as you can see, um, the core is actually quite small. So I think that's probably what the ball bearings were meant to negate, is um, a lot of times cubes that have really small cores, they tend to feel a little bit blocky just because you're trying to move through a very con confined space, I guess. I don't know, it maybe has something to do with that. Um, the ball bearings just kind of help to equalize the weight and the dis the the force of the turn, um, the distribution of that force, so that it doesn't all go into the core and and kind of jam the pieces together, which I think causes a lot of lockups with uh, cubes with small cores. That's something that happened a lot with the Diane Panshee that I remember. Uh, that cube just felt horrible because the core was so tiny. Um, it had these itty bitty little cores um, and the pieces just went super deep into the puzzle and it did not feel good. So something I actually forgot to check, I'm going to open this back up again. I wanted to see if I could disassemble a corner and look at where the ball bearing is all right so interestingly this doesn't have a ball bearing but that's where the opening for it is um, so I'm assuming the magnetic one is gonna have it I'm not sure though you might have to actually put it in yourself and see if you like it or not um, but that's really interesting that it feels that nice even without it so now I'm even more curious to see what it's gonna feel like with the ball bearing in there all right so let's go ahead and check out the magnetic version of the puzzle which is gonna be this one right here all right, once again, just the cube. Um, and this one doesn't come with extra springs. It looks like this one just comes with a few spare ball bearings and washers. Um, so I'm not sure why this one doesn't come with springs. Maybe this one has the different springs installed. So who knows? Let's go ahead and just see what it's like though. Yeah, the layers definitely feel heavier on this one. Uh, and this one does have a light magnetic click. Um, I'm assuming the ball bearing is in this one, but yeah, the feeling is really not that different. Um, it does have that just very light click, but other than that, it's still entirely smooth. But you can see how it's just a little bit more jittery when I turn it uh, like that, just because of the magnets, whereas this one would not have that. This one's just like entirely smooth. Um, so that makes sense. But yeah, there is just a little bit more um, like resistance on the outside of the piece than there is in the inside. So like I said, it does make that like force distribution a little bit more even. So it does provide a very, very nice feel. So I'm gonna see if the ball bearings are in this one. I actually could be wrong, uh, but they didn't give you enough ball bearings for all eight corners in the little package. So I assume that they're in here. 
I can't get this piece out though. Uh, the tensions are pretty loose, but the piece is like, oh, there we go. Okay, that's very hard to get out. Definitely not going to be a problem with popping on this one, which is actually something that happened on the little Magic M. I got a pop on that thing, uh, which is the first time I've had a pop in, in years, honestly. Uh, cubes just like never pop anymore, so when that happened, I was really just really surprised. Um, oh yeah, I hear something loose in there. Okay, yep, there's the ball bearing, just fell out. All right, here it is. So the ball bearing is not actually glued in place. You just kind of drop it in, it looks like. So it just fits right in there. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna carefully put this back on there. Um, oh no, it's loose inside there now. I hope that doesn't become a problem with the ball bearings falling out because that's gonna make a noise and be annoying. Um, just stay in there. There we go. All right, so no more rattling. Yeah, this is a really, really nice cube though. I really like the way it feels. Definitely prefer the magnetic one to the non-magnetic one already. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a couple solves on each of these up now um, and just talk a little bit more about this puzzle. So yeah, all in all, these are great 3x3s. I'm really liking the way they're feeling. Definitely can't wait to solve with them more and I definitely can see these actually becoming my main. I, I can't really feel anything wrong with them. I really like the feel, I really like the speed. It's controllable, it's nice. Um, I am saying this before I've solved it so I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm gonna have to do a lot of solves on these and see how I really like it. But actually the Yushin Little Magic is my main right now pretty much and these actually might replace that cube as my mains too so who knows I will be doing a full review on this cube and the Yushin Little Magic so look out for that and as for the Angstrom 4x4 I'm really liking the way it's feeling it's definitely going to become my new main I have actually had this cube for a few days now and I've pretty much broken all of my PBs on it this is definitely better than my cubicle labs which way M which was my previous main this one just feels so much smoother and faster and I just really really love it and I can't wait to use it in a competition I can't wait to see what kind of times I can get but yeah this cube has just been performed performing consistently well for a while. Even after doing huge amounts of solves, this cube can still keep up easily with no problems. I have noticed that this cube does pop just a little bit more than my Cubicle Labs Wuchui M, but I think the tensions aren't exactly quite the same on these puzzles, and it does kind of depend on what Wuchui you get. Some of them pop more than others, just normally. So it can kind of vary there, but it hasn't really been that much of an issue. So the Angstrom Wuchui M also has slightly stronger magnets on the outer layers, but the stronger outers basically just provides a more consistent feel throughout the whole puzzle for me, even though the inners are a little stronger, and it does just help to keep the puzzle even that much more stable. It doesn't affect speed or performance though. Uh, the cube is still just feels just as fast um, with the slightly stronger magnets. It's not that big of a difference, but it definitely is noticeable. Anyways, that is about it for this unboxing. If you guys like to purchase any of these puzzles, the links for all of them will be down in the description below. Thanks of course to the Cubicle for sending me these puzzles for free to review and of course for sponsoring the video. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.